Hey everybody, welcome back to Stamping School. I took last week off so I could work on all the product shares. Those are all done and mailed out, so I'm back with a video this week. And I'm starting on page 18 because I had some requests for this designer paper. You can't really tell what it is. It's so tiny here. It's called A Little Bit Festive, and if you got your paper shares from me, you would have found that there are solid papers, and then there's all these pieces that come out, these die cuts. And you can kind of tell on the samples here, you know, how big they are. If you know that the cards are regular size cards, you kind of get the idea, but it doesn't really say how big they are, so I wanna show you that. So I'm gonna show you five different cards and how to um, step them up a little bit. And then I'm also gonna be using on page 15, the ephemera, I'm gonna be using the sentiments here. Again, hard to see, but if you got your shares for me, you would have gotten some of these so you can kind of get an idea what these look like. Okay, it's $10, 12 by 12, and there are three patterned designer papers in here. This one's interesting to me. I actually like this with the greenery and the ornaments with the plaid together. I didn't use the blue. <laughs> I was working through all my samples and <laughs> I forgot to use the designer paper. I got so excited about all the other stuff. So I've got a lot of this left over. And then on the other side, that one has like trees. And on the other side, lots of bold patterns to use. So there's a piece here in the middle, and then these are all different frames that you pop out and you can use. And they're just flat designs, but they do have gold on them. But, so you do wanna, you know, you wanna add more to them so they look a little better. So these are frames. And I just, I like to pop them all out and then I kinda know what I'm working with. And so they're, they're not super thin, but they are Thin. They're more like the paper pumpkin and like a heavier paper. And these are actually quite large, so you won't really don't even see in the catalog how big these are, but they're actually quite nice. And they all pop out, even the little middles, they give you a little something in the middle. But they're all really good size items. So, you know, they have got trees, we're gonna use a lot of these today. And here's another sheet. See, I mean, they're pretty good size and I do like the gold on them. It really makes it look a little nicer. And by the time we add some ribbon and some embellishments and step these up, they look pretty good. Oh, and the other thing I'm gonna show you is, yeah. since we acquired Close to My Heart, which is another scrapbooking company that was in Utah, they've been around for 30 some years also, but we have a lot more products coming in that are scrapbooking, which is kind of nice. This is two-tone cardstock, and I wanted to try it. It's a good starter pack. It's 12 by 12. It's 12 sheets for $12. It's called Snow Day Two-Tone Cardstock. So one side is a little darker than the other. And it has a white core, so we can sand it, which is what we're gonna do today with this color right here. But you can see it's, it's it's thinner than cardstock, so it's really nice for layering and not taking up a lot of bulk. But it's just a little bit lighter on one side than the other. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little softer on one side than the other. And this is the espresso. So it's a good starter pack to try. It's 12 by 12, and 12 sheets for $12 isn't bad at all. So I'm gonna be using that too. So I usually start with making a sample from what they did. So this was my first one. They just added this oval wreath right here, right on top of the green, which is fine, but we wanna step it up just a wee bit. So I added a little bit of the plaid folder down here with a strip of cherry cobbler, a little bit of gold foil, and then added my dimensional sheets all across under here to give it some dimension, and then pretty ribbon. I mean, if you're gonna step up something, pretty ribbon is gonna do it. This gold and cherry cobbler ribbon is gorgeous. And I just added about six inches of it, just like that. Snipped it off, 
and then added my sentiment. And these sentiments are really pretty. No stamping needed, but a few, a few little blingies rhinestones if you buy any kind of embellishments at all just get the rhinestones because you can make them any color you want to i added a little blue on top you can use sharpies you can use your alcohol markers to add just a little bit of color on top of them anything that's more permanent you don't want to use a regular water-based marker but then you have any color that you want and then here's those sentiments in the ephemeras same kind of paper but look what you get and you get two sheets of each of these in the package so if you don't want to do any stamping, these are great. Look at this. We're going to use that joy. All laser cut. Aren't they great? <laughs> I've really been enjoying these a lot. And when you pop them up with some dimension, they really look nice. And like I said, you get two sheets of each in a pack. So I added the Christmas wishes right there. Now, this one is a take on what they did in the catalog. I, what I'm doing though, instead of just adding it directly on to the blue cardstock, we're gonna do some embossing on it and we're gonna raise things up. And I use the new two-tone cardstock. This is the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. I embossed the two-tone paper. So you can barely see it. There it is. But if I sand it, yeah, it's going to turn white because the core is inside. You want to lightly sand it. I'm just using a nail file from the grocery store. A light grip. Keep it flat. Don't lift it up. Keep it flat. You got the white snowflakes. So we're just stepping it up just a little bit. That's just a layer on there. You could make that the whole card. But when you add it to the same color card or even on a white card base, that would look nice. And then we just tear a little bit of snow with white cardstock and glue that down. Now this one, I popped out the sled, but I thought let's try the truck because it's awfully cute. And this has two trees. I'm gonna tuck those down in here. Let's do a couple dimensionals back here to hold it down. Uh, one thing with this lighter paper, if you use just small dimensionals all the time under some of the bigger things, like if I just added two dimensionals here with my truck, it could look a little wavy with humidity and sitting around and all of that. So I really, really like the foam adhesive sheets. Now, you know I use these all the time. We sell them, they're amazing. You get a whole bunch of them in a package. They are the same size as the dimensionals, same thickness I mean, but you choose the size that you wanna cut. So for instance, right here, I can cut a bigger piece and I really don't have to mess around with taking all those <laughs> little pieces off. And it makes it more stable and it feels more sturdy. It just does, okay? So it just, it just gives it a lot more weight there. That's cute. These are really just fun to play with. And then you can choose your sentiment that you want to stick on there. You could do Merry Christmas off the edge. I kind of like this little tis the season up here. And then I can layer that on my card. And then add a little bit of bling and then I'm done. Just, it's cute. All right, this is the next one. This is a cherry cobbler with these You've got Pool Party, Garden Green, Real Red, or Cherry Cobbler. And that really is all you need for cards. And Garden Green is great for all of them. So on this one, Cherry Cobbler and a layer of Pool Party. And then this is one of the frames that I punched out. So this frame right here popped up the stocking. That's from the paper. That's from the paper. Added a little bit of green twine added my sentiment, but to make it really stand out even more, I added the fine tip glue. So we sell it in a bottle. I happen to like these bottles better, so I transfer it over. But this dries clear and glossy, our fine tip glue. 
These are the bottles that I get on Amazon. I can link to those if you want to, but there's like a bag of 10 or something, and they're not expensive, but I do like the bottle. It's a nice fine tip, and I put both of my glues in those. But all I did was go over all the little berries and over here, over here, and it just gives it that great texture that looks like you did a little bit more than put die cuts on there. So it's got really good texture and a few more of the rhinestones. So many cute things in here. I'm, that's the stocking that I just showed you and the ornament, this one right here with all these stockings. It's really cute the way it is, but if you wanna step it up just a little bit, you can add a lot more texture on top of the stockings and I made a little fireplace out of it. So there are some things you can do to add some dimension. You can add the enamel effects that we have. You can add puffy paint. If you had the Snowfall Accents puff paint from last year, you add it on there and then you use your heat tool and it puffs up. If you don't have it, just look for any kind of dimensional fabric paint. You can get it on Amazon. And I love puffy paint for the holidays. I think it's really fun. So I added those across here. Let me show you how I made the, the fireplace. I'm gonna try this one on just a white card and see how that looks. Again, that plaid folder, it's so big, that plaid folder, which I love it. And so I just did sheets of cherry cobbler, garden green, and gold foil. The next project, we're gonna use all three. But you only have to emboss one time a half a sheet of cardstock because this is, you know, six inches by eight and a half basically. And then I just cut these down. So this is going to be my fireplace. But first we have to add the black behind it. So because it has these great lines in it already, I'm just going to kind of guess where I want the black hole for the fireplace and follow these lines that are already here and across here. That looks pretty good. And add my fireplace. Piece of black cardstock on the bottom. There. And now this is where it really looks nice if you use the dimensional sheets instead of the dimensionals. If you use just the little individual dimensionals, you could have a wavy fireplace, but we are going to add about a half an inch. Would be great. Isn't it just like so much easier than having to mess around <laughs> with all those little ones? You know, back before we had this, we used to use the mounting tape on a roll. And to me, this holds so much better than that. I really like how sticky it is. Okay, and then we just need a little mantle. Just a little piece of wood grain, paper of some kind. This is from something from the annual catalog. Gotta have a little mantle right above it. And then, then we just add, and add this on once it's all decorated. I would put this on first, and then I would do all of this stuff let it dry. It's going to take like an hour to dry, but I think it's cute. I actually like just the white card better than the crumb cake. And then whatever little sentiment you want on there. And if you made the fireplace shorter, a little bit shorter, you could put your sentiment up on top. Now, another way to step these up is to do a fun fold of some kind, and it just takes everything up a notch. This pool party paper, that's part of that new two-tone cardstock also, because it's 12 inches, which is nice. If you don't have anything 12 inches, it will work for 11 inches, but you won't be able to have the little gift card pull out as well in here. But, and there's, it's all decorated. And I'm gonna show you how to do that fold. It's just a Z fold, sort of. So four and a quarter by 12. Because it's 12 by 12 paper, if you wanna bring it down to four inches, you can. So you get three cards out of that, but then everything else just needs to be a little bit smaller for all your layers. But I did four and a quarter by 12. And then on this side, you wanna score at four and a quarter, and then six and three quarters, and then 10 and a half. And that is going to give you 
This is your gift card right closure right there, and that is your card. And you see, you can really see the two-tone card stock here. So you wanna do some really good, strong, skinny tape here for your gift card. And you could, if you want to, um, put a little notch there. And then you can just layer this up. So this is four by four, two and a quarter by four, and two by four to have your little layers right here. And then you can put some designer paper there if you want to, like I did. And look how big this wreath is. It's so pretty. So this is the wreath from the paper. Popped up with dimensionals, pretty ribbon. And that's from the ephemera, the greeting ephemera that I showed you. Just little, just glued on. This is loose up here. I just glued along the bottom. And a little bit more of that clear glue that dries glossy and raised for the berries. And if you wanna deepen the color a little bit, you can also color the berries darker before you put that on or after, just to make it pop a little bit. The tree already has the gold on it. Didn't have to do anything there, but I did the cherry cobbler back here and a little gold. And this I did gold here, but you could just do more designer paper here, but I kinda like that it's all the same plaid design. And there's your pocket just for you from the sentiments and that's from the paper. So, and together when it's like this, it's five and a half by four and a quarter. These were a lot of fun to play with. I had fun doing these. So just by adding some extra things, dress them up a little bit. I mean, look how big this one is. Oh, one more tip for you. Another tip if you, if you want them to pop out a little more, you can take your blends and you can actually add extra color and dimension to these. Like this is the light cherry cobbler. It's going to blend in. You can darken them. You can add color to them. Like if you feel like they just need like a little bit extra, something, something, you can go in and color them. And you'd be surprised the extra detail that you get just by adding a little bit of color. So for instance, on this one, I added a little color here and here and a little bit in here just because I thought like they were a little too faded in some areas. So you can add color if you want. On this one, I darkened the berries a little bit before I put the clear glue on top just to make them stand out a touch more. So I say they're good. Get them. I like them. We'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.